Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now today I'm going to reveal the real cause and the number one reason guys get man boobs, also known as gynecomastia or gyno. And I bring this up because I get a lot of questions about this topic. And to be honest with you, I'm not surprised. In fact, statistics show that this medical condition is on the rise. Now, over the past three decades, gynecomastia has increased by 57%, which is crazy if you think about it. So if you have gyno, regardless of how small or big, you're not alone because having gynecomastia is actually quite common these days. About 60% of boys get it during puberty. Uh, about 37% of men in their 30s and 40s have it, and a whopping 70% of men uh, age 50 and older have it. Now, most people think that the real cause is high estrogen. Yes, estrogen is definitely a major problem. However, the real cause is actually having low testosterone and more specifically, an imbalance in hormones, primarily between testosterone and estrogen, your male and female hormones. Thus, the ratio is more in favor of the estrogens, the female hormones, than testosterone, the male hormone. For example, you can have low estrogen and still get gynecomastia if your testosterone is also low. So ideally you want high testosterone and low estrogen. Now guys with gyno actually have the opposite. They have low testosterone and high estrogen. The ratio is actually backwards. But here's where things get interesting and actually really bad for guys with the man boobs. So listen carefully. As your estrogen levels increase, your body tells your testicles to actually produce less testosterone. So that's the bad news number one. The worst is that your body's natural estrogen inhibitor, all right, the way your body tries to naturally lower estrogen internally when it gets too high is by increasing the hormone dihydrotestosterone, also known as DHT, which is the primary cause of balding and excess body hair, right? The back, shoulders, and all that. And that's bad news number two. So guys with gyno have more estrogen, which leads to more body fat, belly fat, and depression. They have less testosterone, which means smaller muscles, lower sex drive, and so forth. And they have higher DHT, which leads to balding and body hair and so forth. But get this. The bad news continues because there's another major hormonal imbalance typically seen with man boob guys, and that's higher levels of the stress hormone cortisol, which further decreases testosterone even more, causing an even higher ratio of estrogen, so on and so forth. It just keeps getting worse. And that's bad news number three. So the bad news keeps getting worse. Listen. The negative hormonal imbalances causes an even bigger imbalance as you age and also as you get fatter, which is further enhanced by the hormonal imbalances. So simply stated, you're kind of screwed, which explains why it's so much harder for you to gain muscle or lose fat and why your sex drive keeps going lower and why you lose more and more muscle each year. And basically, you're aging and getting older at a faster rate. So listen, I can go on and on about this topic because it also causes higher cholesterol, you know, higher blood pressure, blood sugar, erectile problems, so forth. But by now, I hope you get the point. So let's quickly talk about the solutions. One of the first ones is obviously surgery. Some people need to have surgery to remove the gyno, and that's fine, especially if yours is big. Make sure you find an experienced doctor who has done this surgery dozens and even hundreds of times. However, listen, regardless of the surgery, you still must improve your hormonal imbalance, which includes three or four solutions. The first you need to do is reduce your estrogen levels. And this is done by, first of all, losing fat. And this is because fat cells increase estrogen levels. Number two, you want to eat better. Listen, lots of foods increase estrogen, such as soy products and animal protein, primarily because of all the hormones in the foods. For example, you know, the chicken you eat, it eats soy products. And that gets into the chicken and then that gets into you, even though organic free range junk, all right? So you need to eat more vegetables and healthy fats, such as coconut oil, nuts, seeds, avocados, and so forth. Next, you want to increase your testosterone, all right? Once you've lowered the estrogen and the female hormones, we want to focus on increasing your testosterone. The first thing you want to do is lift weights. And now, as you may have seen my other videos, you need to lift weights, and you only need to do this about three or four times weekly, and no more than an hour each session, so you keep it short and brief. 
Next, you want to eliminate uh, you know, intense long duration cardio. That means no running, no jogging, no li- no long distance biking and hiking, and all of these things because they increase stress hormones and decrease testosterone. I know this is a shocker to most people, but this is the truth. Keep your cardios intense, but keep them really short. Only about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes at the most. Best of all, I think you should just go for simple, brisk walks. 30 minutes, you know, three to five times weekly. Also, uh, again, as stated above, you want to eat more healthy fats, especially the saturated fats uh, found in eggs because they produce uh, testosterone. And don't worry, it won't increase your cholesterol levels. You should have about two or three eggs, uh, about two or three times weekly. Pasteurized um, eggs are the best. And also, you want to sleep. All right. Make sure you sleep better. Go to bed before midnight. Sleep at least six to seven hours. Sleep as needed. All right. Uh, Most of your hormones are made during sleep. And unfortunately, most people are sleep deprived. And finally, you want to take specific clinically proven, you know, herbs and supplements that balance your hormones. Listen, improving your lifestyle is very important, but it does take time to see results. So you got to be patient, even though most people, unfortunately, aren't patient. However, if you're in a rush to see improvements, especially if you're over the age of 35, I highly suggest that every man to take specific herbs, all right, plant extracts, vitamins, minerals, and amino acids that are clinically proven to increase your testosterone, decrease your estrogen, lower stress hormones such as cortisol, and thus create optimal hormonal balance. And the reality is that most of us are just deficient in these specific ingredients, and we just can't get enough of it in our foods. And this is why the correct supplements will make the biggest and more importantly, the fastest improvements in your hormones and thus decreasing the size of your gyno and help eliminate any problems in the future. However, listen, this video has already gotten pretty long. And because of this, there's another video I want you to watch next uh, and it'll discuss, you know, the best herbal solutions, minerals and so forth that you should be taking. Just click the link below in the description area to watch the next video so you can discover one of my favorite solutions for instantly improving your hormonal imbalances, especially if you're over the age of 35. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your questions and comments below. I do read them all. And also, don't forget to click the link below in the description area and watch the next video on how you can quickly and easily improve your hormones without having to change your diet or even your exercise program. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.